Hello, this is Grant from Gabbit Media and this is a tutorial about the basics of Blender. And this is a series of tutorials to help you understand the interface and the basics of modeling, texturing and lighting. So here we have the main window, which is the 3D window, and we are in the default setting. In order to move around the window, you will need to press the middle mouse button to rotate round. If you hold down shift and press the middle mouse button, you can move side to side. And if you wheel the middle mouse button, you move in and out. Of course, this is assuming you have a three button mouse. You can also press keyboard shortcuts to take you to the side view, front view, and top view. That's on your numpad, not the numbers across the top of your keyboard, but the numpad. If you don't have a numpad, you can emulate the numpad, and I'll put that in a different tutorial. So on the numpad, if we press one, that takes us to front view. You can see it's front view because the x-axis is going sideways and the z-axis is going upwards and the y-axis is obviously going away from us. Then if we go 3, that's side view, 7 is top view. So 1, front view, 3, side view, and 7 is top view. You can move out of these views by clicking your middle mouse button and moving around the object again. You've also got 0 on your numpad for camera view and you can get out of camera view by the middle mouse button once again. A really handy thing is if you are uh, moving around the scene and you've kind of lost your object. As long as it's selected, you can press the full stop key on your numpad and that will take you back and put it in the center of your scene. Okay, let's add some objects. If I left click, that's where the objects will be placed in the scene. So let's move around. You can see it's a little bit tricky in 3D space to place your cursor, but we'll put it there for now. The create tools are over here. So there's the create and you can get the same menu by pressing Shift A. You can see I've got the screencast keys on the bottom here, so you can see those if you need them. So Shift A, or go to this menu up here, Shift A, and let's add a sphere, a UV sphere. And there it is. Now, in order to select these, we press right click to select. That will take a bit of getting used to, but you'll soon get used to it and be modeling away within no time. In order to move them, we have these arrows around here. There's a Z arrow, an X arrow, and a Y arrow. So let's uh, try and move these two objects next to each other, like that. And we can always use our side view and front view for this to get them the same height. And then sitting next to each other. Let's add another object. Let's add it over here this time. And we'll add Shift A, and we'll add a monkey. There's our monkey. Okay, and we'll move that next to it. But I want it facing this way. And in order to do that, I'm going to have to rotate it. You can go down to these little toolbars down here, the transform toolbars, and get the rotate. And then you can rotate it around like that. So pause the video and try and get several objects lined up with each other. Okay, one more thing I'm going to show you is the scale. Let's add another object now. So I'll click over here with left click and select a cylinder. And I'll move it into place. So I'll get my move tool with this little arrow here and move it into place. And this time if I press S, I can scale it. Or as you can see, I can get this scale tool down here and I can scale it in sp specific axes, as you can see there. So scale these to different shapes and put them all in line. That's your first task. 